the chaplain's assistants return from their trip to San Francisco unaware of the major battle that has taken place at Fort Wadsworth. Holy smoke, the entire motor pool has disappeared. Buildings, vehicles, and all. There's nothing but a hole in the ground. <laughs> the boiler exploded. All the boilers exploded. All the propane tanks, too. In fact, everything in the motor pool that could possibly explode, exploded. A boiler explosion? You can come up with a better fib than that, Clutch. Like what, Breaker? A small nuclear accident? Meteor shower? If I told them the truth, they'd never believe me. Yeah, we just fought off the combined Cobra land and air forces in a pitched battle on the chaplain's assistance croquet courts. Sure. Uh-huh. Nod, nod, wink, wink. Speaking of winks, how's my favorite little infiltrator? Scarlet, you just haven't been the same since Snake Eyes hauled you back from wherever you disappeared to. Well, you know what they say. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Really? If I had known In you your felt... In case, I grew fond of your absence. You walked right into that one, Clutch. Yeah. Thanks for the warning, Breaker. Hawk, the chaplain's assistants are back. That's going to make it harder for us to work on restoring the pit. Wrong on two counts. They'll just keep us on our toes. Sharpen our eye for security. We're not going to simply restore the pit. We're going to make it better and more impregnable with more efficient surface access and harder defenses. It's going to take time and manpower. We'll need every Joe we can muster working on the pit around the clock. Any assignments that come up will be handled by small, highly specialized teams. You guys better start looking lively down there. The weatherman breaks rain for tomorrow. So you don't reinforce the support beams in time? The added weight from all that water gonna bring the roof down on your heads. I hear you, Zap. You lost to pull the floor out from under you. That's okay. I'm wearing that jetpack tomorrow. You do that! Let's get everything short up today and not tell Zap. I want to see him sweat all day tomorrow with that heavy jetpack. Man, that timber right above us looks to be in bad shape. Maybe we ought to brace it first. All the timbers are in bad shape. We can't. It's going. Now! Whoa, put it out down there. I was just fooling. Jam that brace in there. Too late. We didn't get it wrenched in far enough. Diablo, you don't have the leverage from down there. Help me up there, rock and roll. You got it, gung-ho. You're going to need a sledgehammer. Hammer? I don't need no stinking hammer. I'll clear Zap. We got the situation squared away down here. Hmm. Nice beat. I didn't think you guys are messing with my head. You don't rattle the roof on purpose, did you? Who us? Not hardly. Better get Better the, get the jet, jet pack, pack, turkey. Techie. Cover girl. I'll bet you're wondering why I volunteered to help you and Tripwire get the living quarters back into shape. The question never crossed my mind, Snow Job. But I'm sure you're going to tell me anyway. You bet. You might think a macho guy like me would find hauling around pots and pans to be a sissy job. That's your first mistake. I'm not a male chauvinist pig like all the other guys. You're not? Right. I'm for women's liberation all the way. Equality. That's the ticket. I mean, why should the guy have to pay for everything on a date? Brother. You almost had me going for a moment there. Hey, I'm bearing my Get soul, and... I wish Torpedo would hurry up and fix the water leak so we can get the juice turned back on down here. We could have had a shorten every circuit. Right now, you've got a short fuse on this circuit. Ha <laughs> Get it, Flash? No, explain it to me. Well, you said we might have a shorten every circuit. And my code name is Short Fuse. I still don't get it. What does a short circuit have to do with a short fuse? They both start with short. So does shortcake. But you can have fuses on a circuit. I closed off all the leaks. Now I can go up and start the pumps. Maybe the sound of the pumps will drown you out. You know, Snake Eyes, it's times like this that I really wish you could talk. Your old buddy Grunt here wouldn't mind knowing what went down all that time you were missing with Quinn. Everyone thought for sure you were dead. Heck, gung-ho, Breaker and Stucker saw the Baroness blow up the island you were on. 
And how did you and Quinn and Venom manage to get out of Sierra Gordo and back to the States? That whole little banana republic went up in a full-scale revolution seconds after we left. And what about Scarlet? She makes her yearly qualification jump, everyone on the plane sees her shoot open, she passes through a cloud bank and disappears. Never comes out the other side, like something huge with wings snatched her out of the air. Next thing we know, you're making an unauthorized jump in restricted airspace and the next day you show up with Scarlet and a very sophisticated piece of Cobra hardware. Heads up, I ought to build. Here comes your passenger. That's right, Airborne. Guess you figured out that you're not going on this flight. It wasn't hard. What with Quinn's body and a kayak tied to the skids, I reckon Snake Eyes is seeing to it that his friend gets an Eskimo sent off. Make sure that the bear spirit can find his way through the sea and wind to merge with the great spirit until the death of time. We're off, Snake Eyes! Long Hawk, eastern tip of the island. Hawk, these plans call for more than just a major overhaul of the pit. This is equivalent to building a six-story office building underground and in secret. This will take years. We're going to do it in six months. We can get a lot of manpower from General Flagg's Pentagon staff. They've got clearances and the know-how. Gung-ho guzzles that mess off fruit punch as if he likes his stuff. He does. Heck, he even likes sea rash and ham and limes. Disgusting. Hi, cover girl. Fancy meeting you here. I was thinking about volunteering for kitchen duty again and... Forget it, snow oh. job. Listen up, Joes. Try to get as much done today as possible. We're knocking off tomorrow to fly down to Washington for General Flagg's funeral. Another bullseye. Bring out a target of that new Joe. What's her name? Cover girl? Cobra Commander, I'd like a word with you. I'm busy, Distro. Get that target up there. I want to know why the new Tank Smasher prototype is being rolled out for a combat mission with all the modifications and tests are yet to be completed. Because I have a mission for it that won't wait. Our air arm was decimated in the Battle of Fort Wadsworth, and prototype or not, the Rattler is the best available aircraft for the job. Our informants turned up plans for a full dress security funeral tomorrow at Arlington. They must be bearing the Joe killed at the Fort Wadsworth debacle. The other Joes will be sure to be there in force. Tell me, Distro, weren't you a bit annoyed at the audacity of the Joe named Snake Eyes in rescuing Scarlet from your personal mountain retreat? He violated neutral airspace, penetrated your security, and escaped with your Cobra Claw flying wing. It was my castle, but Scarlet was your prisoner, captured for your amusement by your Tori, the Ninja Storm Shot. Details! The Rattler flies tomorrow! Be patient, my dear. We're almost there. Soon everything will be better. Dr. Huntkinder will make everything better. E everything? Ah, guten Tag, you must be Sebastian Blood. Yes, indeed, Dr. Huntkinder. Please come in, come in. And this must be the special patient you wrote about in your cable from Montreal. A traffic accident involving a Lamborghini Countach, I believe? Um, quite. May I present the Baroness uh, de Cobray? Baroness de Cobray? I'm not familiar with the title. I thought we were being discreet. We discussed the price of surgery. Discretion is extra. Peter Swain. There she is, Snake Eyes! Lighthouse, long lost point. Turn off the breakers here. Sweeps north into the Arctic. Strong enough to carry a fallen warrior into the cold, clean realm of eternal life. 
warriors, friend, turns a gift for the final warrior. He lays the warrior's weapon on his breast. At the warrior's feet, friend places the weapon that defeated him. So will serve him forever in the next world. Goodbye, friend. There'll never be another like you. Quit fidgeting, cover girl. This is... Clutch. That plane. It's coming straight at us! Grab the one to go for man. I have visual contact with target. Missiles are now armed. Five seconds to launch. Four seconds. We're trapped in the open! No cover! He'll be in range in seconds! Three seconds. He's not shooting holes in my flag. Two seconds. One second. Got to be a new Joe. Cause if the bad guys can handhold a 50 caliber Browning, I'm giving up. They call me Roadblock. I'm the new heavy machine gunner on the G.I. Joe team. Roadblock? Glad to see ya. I'm rock and roll. That was some fine shooting you did there. I mean it. Most guys can't even lift a fully loaded 50, let alone knock down an attack plan with one. You must be the proverbial baddest dude on the block. Bad? Me? I'd rather make crepes and bake souffles and fight any day. You on hard. You on concentrated meanness tied up with concertina wire and hash marks. <laughs> That's your man standing over there with the smoking 1911 in his hand. But you better wipe that smile off your face before you look at him, or he'll wipe it off for you. I'm Duke, the new top sergeant around here, and things are gonna be different from now on. I'm gonna make the sorry lot of you into soldiers. I still say this is a creepy job, Max. It sure beats making license plates in the prison metal shop. We get to be outdoors, see the grass and the trees. Yeah, but we gotta bury poppers and winos. That ain't no way to get fresh air. Doesn't it make you feel glad to be alive? Planting stiffs? I told you, Max. It gives me the creeps. It's almost poetic. Don't you know a Hamlet? That freaking D-block doing 10 to 20 for armed robbery? No. I mean the melancholy Dane. Shakespeare's man who thought too much. Only we never did bury anybody named Yorick. Lots of John Doe's, but never a... Son of a gun. That's a first for Potter's Field since I've been here. Why would they do that? Right strange. Burying a doctor in a place like this. <laughs> <laughs>